everyone what's going on so lately i've noticed a lot of people going crazy and talking about bitcoin bitcoin seems to be a real big deal in the mainstream media lots of people on my facebook and everything else have been talking about you know bitcoin and they're getting interested in cryptocurrencies and i'm not here to tell you whether it's a good investment or a bad investment i just want to show you how Bitcoin is coded with Gematria and also how it is, you know, it's interesting. All year I've been talking about how this year is the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash. And that is super important to Donald Trump being the president. So I will explain that here in a little bit. But basically what Gematria is, is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And Literally every single day, our mainstream media is coded with this system. Our sports leagues are scripted this way. Our told history is all scripted with this system. And the story in regards to Bitcoin and Bitcoin being big, it is coded with Gematria as well. So let's, let's look at a, a quick example of Gematria. Basically, you know, it goes by the alphabetic order. A would equal one because it's the first letter. B equals two c equals three and so on so a prime example you know something say my name my name is dan d is the fourth letter a the first letter in the 14th you add that up you get 19. and these other methods are significant because this is the reduction way where you take 19 and you, re you reduce it to numerology so d is the fourth letter it doesn't need to be broke down a is the first letter it doesn't need to be broke down, but N is the 14th letter. So you would take one plus four and you get five. So then you would add D, the fourth letter, four, one, and five, and you get 10. And then these other two are the reverse method. And they're absolutely significant. You know, our nation was founded on Freemason principles, you know, lots of stuff, the Freemasons and people alike are the people who code our mainstream media. And they're the people who use this system to their advantage and use it against us every single day. And, you know, in regards to them, they even have, if you look at some of their art and whatever else, to be the perfected man, the perfected man is all about the dog star Sirius, which is the reverse of God, right? Dog and God. And in Gematria, God equals 55, the reverse way, Satan equals 55 the normal way. And notice the small way, Satan equals 10, and look what God equals the other way. You know, God in reverse equals 10 the small way. So it's definitely significant. I'll leave some links in the description so you can check it out. So moving along, let's look at some of the gematria in regards to Bitcoin. And I'll explain what I'm talking about here. So I noticed that cryptocurrency in Gematria equals 174. And that sticks out right away just because New World Order equals 174 as well. And the New World Order has always been around. You know, it's just they just expand upon it. The New World Order is something that is, is an old world order. It's something that has always been here. And they're just expanding upon it every single day, you know. And what do they need in a new world order, a one world government, a one world currency? So just interesting that cryptocurrency has the same gematria as new world order. Also, you know, false flag equals 174. And also, in regards to, you know, cryptocurrencies all of a sudden becoming super big just after the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash, if you write out 88 as words, it also equals 174. So super interesting that it's the 88th anniversary of the stock market crash when Herbert Hoover, we'll show you all the stuff I've, I've talked about before. Trump and Gematria equals 88. When the stock market crash happened, it was Herbert Hoover was the president. H, H, H is the eighth letter, a lot like 88. And Herbert Hoover, equals 159 in Gematria, just like if you write out Donald Trump, he equals 159. And there's other things that are going on in the media that are connected to this, such as 
not standing during the national anthem. It all goes back to just think about where the Super Bowl is being played this year. U.S. Bank Stadium. And look what that equals in Gematria. 88. The word kneel equals 88. The Star Spangled Banner equals 88. Colin Kaepernick equals 88. You know, the Great Gar or the Star Spangled Banner was even signed into Congress by Herbert Hoover, who was the president during the stock market crash. And Justin Timberlake is at the halftime show this year. And Justin Timberlake was last in the Super Bowl with Janet Jackson. And they were singing songs off of her album Rhythm Nation 1814. And that number is in regards, it is in honor of the year Francis Scott Key wrote the national anthem. So that's why we're getting all of these stories. It's all connected to the stock market crash. Think about U.S. Bank Stadium. Think about Donald Trump, right? The guy who wants to build the wall. Wall equals 48. Donald Trump equals 48. Let's put it out there. He also won the election on the anniversary of the Berlin Wall coming down. After he wins the election, all, all kinds of stuff in, in regards to entertainment comes out, such as the game show with LeBron James called The Wall and you know another movie called The Wall. There was a movie called The Great Wall of China that came out. And you know they worked on all these movies well before Donald Trump was even running for the president. But just think about that in regards to Wall Street. If you write out stock market crash in Gematria, it equals 185. Just like if you write out Donald Trump's full name, Donald John Trump, 185. So it's definitely super significant to what is going on. And it's interesting that these cryptocurrencies are all of a sudden being really popular and, you know, being put in the mainstream media. I also pointed out then that Bitcoin and Gematria equals 72, just like money and Bitcoin is decentralized, right? A decentralized banking system, whatever. That equals 72 as well in Gematria. So interesting. And two, Bitcoin equals 317 in Satanic Gematria. And it really just sticks out to me because this number came up in some weird stuff in regards to the Simpsons episode number 91 that was all about Marge having a gambling problem on a previous post. And there's all kinds of stuff. The 91st episode, and then we got the Las Vegas shooting, right? And just think about all of that and just in regards to money. It doesn't necessarily have to be connected to the stock market or whatever, but we got the Vegas shooting. And that was on the day that leaves 91 days of the year. And it was the Harvest 91 or Route 91 Harvest Festival. Ton of stuff, you know. So just I just pointed out that that was interesting. We'll skip over it for now, you know, to not lose you. So I all, when you look up Bitcoin, you find out that it was created by an unknown person or people who go under this name, Satoshi Nakamoto. And they claim to be born on April 5th of 1975, which makes them 42 years old. And this is exactly how the mainstream media and celebrities and everything else, it's always coded this way. People die, you know, say their name equals 45, they die 45 days after or before their birthday. Happens all of the time, you know. And... Supposedly, this is claimed to be born on April 5th, and the reason that that is significant is because Bitcoin in Gematria equals 45. Bitcoin, 45, and supposedly the creator was born on 4 slash 5. Also, if you write out just the, the last name they give, Nakamoto, that equals 45. And think about Donald Trump, too. Donald Trump, the 45th president. Mike Pence, his vice president, Mike Pence equals 45. And think about Pence in regards to money, right? The Trump Pence and then Mike Pence, all to do with money. And then Donald Trump's all about the wall and Wall Street, the richest president. 
So the reason I brought up 42 then, it says they would be 42 years old, if that's true, that, that's what they tell us. And they're from Japan. Japan equals 42. They're supposedly 42 years old right now. If you read out the name, Satoshi Nakamoto, it equals 181, which is the 42nd prime number. And if you read out Bitcoin equals 72, if you read out 72, it also equals 42. The word Freemason equals 42. Another big uh, cryptocurrency is Litecoin. Like, it's supposedly like the silver to Bitcoin's gold. You know, Bitcoin's gold, this is silver. That equals 42 in Gematria. I noticed that I was watching it today, and I noticed that it went up over $100 in just one day. So, just interesting. We'll see if the trend continues or whatever. So also, every, I started looking this up, and ever since starting to look this up, I keep everywhere I go. If I go to Yahoo or Facebook or anything, this ad for this keeps popping up. So I decided to click on it, and just interesting. It's supposedly this guy who made a bunch of money off of cryptocurrencies, and his name is James Altucher. And his name equals 136 in Gematria, just like stock market. And he says that the big opportunity to get on board with this, it's going to disappear on February 2nd, which is the 33rd day of the year, which is super important to lots of things. You know, 33 is the highest known degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Jesus supposedly died on the cross at the age of 33. Which a lot of this stems back to lots of stuff in regards to Jesus that's all connected to 42 as well. You know, New Testament equals 42. It begins with the 42 generations leading up to Jesus, who was born in Bethlehem, that equals 42. Even if you read out Bethlehem in Judea, like it says in the Bible, what it actually says, that equals 142. And if you write out 42, that equals 142. And the New Testament even begins with Matthew, right? That has math right in it. Math equals 42. 42 is supposedly the, you know, the secret to the universe or whatever. And Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the word Freemason equals 42. So interesting, Bitcoin has this connection to 42. Litecoin has the connection to 42. The person or people or whatever supposedly invented it are 42 years old right now. Their name equals 181, the 42nd prime number. So, who knows? I don't know if it's, you know, Donald Trump equals the reverse of Herbert Hoover. So, possibly, it's not going to crash. It's actually going to blow up. And that was the whole point. Or possibly, we are going to get a... a you know, a crash of all this and a bunch of people are going to get invested and lose a lot of money. But I'm not here to say that because I don't fully know, but it's absolutely coded just like everything else. And that's the point I was trying to get across. Anyway, have a good one. Hopefully it makes sense. Check out the links in the description. Peace.